overseas now and growing concerns in Syria after rumors this week of a possible chemical weapons attack in that country. This video was released by the Syrian government, which claims it shows victims of a rebel chemical weapons attack. Now, that claim has not been independently verified at this time, but President Obama has said that the use of chemical weapons would be a, quote, game changer. So is it time for the U.S. to step in and use military force? Joining us now for a fair and balanced debate, Democratic Congressman Adam Schiff and Republican Congressman Peter King. Gentlemen, welcome. Great to see both of you today. Good to see you. Congressman Good morning, King, Omar. let me begin with you. Uh, the president, as we just mentioned, calls this a game changer if confirmed that Syria is using chemical weapons right now. What does that specifically mean to you? Well, first of all, if they are using them, and it's been looked at very carefully, this is a game changer. It does cross a red line, and it means that action will have to be taken. What that action is, that's something that has to be decided as we go forward. The fact is it would be a dramatic change because uh, the president has made it clear that chemical weapons cannot be used. Uh, yeah, analyses are going on right now, but if it does turn out that the Syrian government is using chemical weapons, then all I can say is that severe action will have to be taken. And I don't think we should be uh, saying publicly uh, exactly what that's going to be or what it's going to encompass, but it has to be very serious and severe action. Congressman Schiff, at this point, what information do you have so far about the chemical weapons threat? Well, we certainly have the same concern, and, and this needs to be fully investigated. We have to be mindful, of course, of the fact that uh, we have gotten this wrong in terms of WMD. Our intelligence is imperfect. But it is a red line, and if it is crossed, it will have the most serious repercussions. And as Peter mentions, that will depend on the circumstances. If Assad is using his air assets to drop uh, nerve agents, uh, then I think the international community will respond by taking out his air assets. If he's using missiles, they may respond by taking out his missile capability or his command and control. Uh, he needs to know that there will be the most severe repercussions, and this is a step that he just cannot take. Congressman King, do you think Americans are ready to see the United States step up and use uh, military intervention as a means of stopping any potential chemical attack? Congressman King? Oh, I'm sorry. That was for Adam. Uh, yes, I, I think if, again, it, let me emphasize, this will be bipartisan. Uh, what you heard Adam and I say, I think, uh, typifies both parties. We believe strong action would have to be taken. And I think if the president explained it to the American people, and if the, uh, both parties stood together and we uh, uh, detailed that it was going to be a limited uh, strike, it was going to be uh, focused, uh, then I, I think you know, the American people would be, you know, they'd be reluctant. After Iraq and Afghanistan, Americans are war weary. There's no doubt about that. But on the other hand, the uh, threat of chemical weapons spreading or being used uh, is just something that we can't allow to happen. It does just involve Syria. It, that would spread throughout the Middle East. And it's something that really does involve our national interest very clearly, but it would involve the president really making that case to the American people, and it would call upon the leaders of both parties to stand with the president. Uh, Congressman Schiff, do you agree with that? Uh, well, I think absent the use of chemical weapons, we should be very reluctant to involve uh, ourselves militarily. We have led the efforts to sanction the regime. We've led the efforts to organize the opposition regime. We've provided the most humanitarian support. But should we get militarily involved, then we have ownership of this war. And regrettably, this has now become a largely sectarian civil war. Uh, and I'm not sure that we're prepared to own a civil war, a sectarian civil war. So we need to be very careful. But the loss of life is just devastating and extraordinary. We ought to be doing everything we can. And I think there are steps that we can take that the United States is in a unique position to help the opposition. We are taking some of those steps. What I think we should take more. What kind of steps are you talking more. about specifically? Well, we can provide some of the logistical and intelligence and military support short of providing weapons that may end up in al-Nusra's hands or may come back to haunt us. Uh, there are a lot of weapons already flowing in. I think we have responsibility to try to make sure those weapons go to the right people. Uh, we also, I think, can supply them in unique ways that others cannot. Uh, but uh, I would resist strongly efforts that some of the European nations are encouraging uh, in terms of supporting uh, the provision of surface-to-air missiles, which may be used later to bring down civilian aircraft. I think we should be wary of providing any kind of munitions that can get in the wrong hands and later be used against us. Uh, and given the fact that, uh, that Congressman Schiff has pointed out that we would own this, Congressman King, uh, do you agree with that, that we would have to take a leadership role on this and go the distance? Well, again, I was, uh, in answer to your question, I was talking about if Syria is using chemical weapons. I agree with Adam. I'm reluctant for us to get involved 
uh, absent the use of chemical weapons, because I'm not certain exactly who the opposition is, uh, what's going to happen. Uh, I think we, as Adam said, we can provide intelligence, we can provide logistical support for those elements within the opposition that we feel uh, are compatible with our values, that we can trust, that are not allied with al-Qaeda. But we have to be very careful about uh, getting overtly involved. And also, uh, again, I, I would right now limit any military involvement by the U.S. to uh, a very limited role in the, in the event that chemical weapons are being used. But as far as getting on the ground, as far as allying ourselves openly with any of the rebel forces, that's, uh, I'm, I'm leery about that right now. But having said that, I think we can provide intelligence and logistical support to those elements uh, that we can trust. And we have to be very careful as to how we vet them. Indeed, we are, we are walking a very fine line on this one. Uh, certainly, we're going to be watching this very closely over the next few days and months. And, gentlemen, I really do appreciate you coming today and sharing your insights with us. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you. Thank you, Omar. Thanks, Adam. Thank you.